Okay. Just letting folks in from the waiting room. All set. All right, good morning. This is the voting meeting before the licensing board for the city of Boston. Today is Thursday, December 2nd, 2021. While the public is encouraged to attend, there will be no additional public testimony accepted today. Uh, there was no license permits inspection hearing on Tuesday, November 30th, 2021. So we'll begin with the transactional hearing held yesterday, Wednesday, December 1st, beginning with item number one, Life Changing Nutrition LLC, doing business as Life Changing Nutrition, located at 724 Dudley Street in Dorchester, has applied for a common vitro license to be exercised on the above. Manager, Joe Zanilda Alves, hours of operation, 7 a.m. to 6 p.m. I vote to approve. I agree. I agree as well. Next item is Sonder Hospitality USA, Inc., located at 234 Newbury Street, has applied for an in-holder license to be exercised on the above. Manager, Greg Klein. I vote to approve. I agree. I agree as well. Item number three, 570 Warren Street, LLC, located at 570 Warren Street in Dorchester, has applied for a lodging house license to be exercised on the above. Manager, Peter McLaughlin. I vote to approve. I agree. I agree as well. Item number four, J.C. Batolf LLC, located at 169 St. Batolf Street, has applied for a lodging house license to be exercised on the above. Manager Clifford Shore. I vote to approve. I agree. I agree as well. Item number five, LaSalle Hotel SE, Inc., doing business as Hyatt Boston Harbor, located at 101 Harborside Drive in East Boston. Holder of an in-holder all alcoholic beverages license has petitioned to change the manager of the license business to John O'Connell. I vote to approve. I agree. I agree as well. Item number six, Toasted Brothers BB LLC, doing business as the Friendly Toast, located at 35 Stanhope Street. Holder of a common vitular seven-day all-alcoholic beverages license, has petitioned to change the manager of the license business to Jonathan Hayes. I vote to approve. I agree. I agree as well. Item number seven, Tavern 103 Limited, located at 256 Freeport Street in Dorchester. Holder of a club all alcoholic beverages license has petitioned to change the manager of the license business to Robert Sheehan. I vote to approve. I agree. I agree as well. Item number eight, Super Target Liquor of Massachusetts, Inc. doing business as Target, located at 1345 Boylston Street. Holder of a retail package store, all alcoholic beverages license, has petitioned for a change of officers, directors of the corporation. I vote to approve. I agree. I agree as well. Item number nine, LLH LLC, doing business as Trader Joe's, located at 199 North Harvard Street in Alston. Holder of a retail package store, all alcoholic beverages license, has petitioned for a change of officers, directors of the corporation. I vote to approve. I agree. I agree as well. Item number 10 has already been voted on by the board. Item number 11 has also already been voted on by the board. These are just procedural corrections. Item number 12, Huntington Avenue Market, Inc. doing business as Huntington Market, located at 818 to 820 Huntington Avenue. Holder of a retail package store malt and wine license has petitioned to change the category of this license to retail package store all alcoholic beverages license. I think the applicant um successfully describe the public need to change the category. So I vote to approve this change. I agree. I agree as well. Uh, items 13 and 14 were called together yesterday. Item 13, Marriott Hotel Services, Inc. doing business as Marriott, a Boston Marriott Hotel Copley, located at 110 Huntington Ave. Uh, holder of an in-holder all alcoholic beverages license has petitioned to amend the description of the license business to 858,056 square feet, over 40 floors, including basement and mezzanine in a whole of said building, excluding the restaurant space on the second floor operated yard house restaurant and the space formerly known as the Connection Lounge. And item number 14, Yard House USA Inc. doing business as Yard House, also located at 110 Huntington Ave, holder of a common bitch or seven day all alcoholic beverages license, has petitioned to amend the description of that license business to located in the former restaurant space known as Champions at the Boston Marriott Hotel Copley on the second floor containing approximately 15,042 square feet, including 2,210 square feet lounge and 297 square feet in the basement of hotel, two dining rooms and bar area, total seating capacity 349, which has since been amended in a corrected, uh, in a correction. I vote to approve. I agree. I agree. Great, and that was for both items 13 and 14? Yes. 
Item 15, Delta Airlines Inc. doing business as Delta Sky Club, located at Logan Airport, Terminal A, East Boston, holder of an airport general on-premises alcoholic beverages license, has petitioned to amend the description of the licensed business to Logan Airport, Terminal A, one room located on the third level of the main building above security checkpoint, each partition with one conference room, office, kitchen prep, and storage area. I vote to approve. I agree. I agree as well. Item number 16, Las Palmas Market, Inc. doing business as Las Palmas Market, located at 13 Chelsea Street, East Boston, holder of a retail package store, wine and malt beverages license, has petitioned to change the category of the license to retail package store, all alcoholic beverages license, and has petitioned to change the manager of the license business to Wilfredo Palma Pleitez. I think the applicant adequately described the need, the public need to change this category, so I vote to uh, support the change in category. I agree. I agree as well. And for the uh, change of the manager as well? Yes, and approve the change of manager. Great. Thank you. Item number 17, Davis Aerosmith Inc. doing business as industry, located at 750 to 754 Adam Street in Dorchester. Holder of a common gutular seven day all alcoholic beverages license, has petitioned for a change of officers, directors and has petitioned for a change of stock interest and has petitioned to change the manager to David Aerosmith. I vote to approve all those changes. I agree. I agree as well. Okay. Item number 18, Finn Investments LLC, located at 200 High Street, holder of a common or seven day all alcoholic beverages license, has petitioned to transfer the license from the above to High Street LL LLC at the same location, Mark Wilcox Smith manager, 2 a.m. closing hour. Um, I vote to approve this transfer. I agree. I agree as well. Item number 19, CRT Food and Beverage, Inc., doing business as Whiskey Steakhouse and Saloon, located at 885 Boylston Street, holder of a common vitular seven-day alcoholic beverages license, has petitioned to transfer the license and the location to Mecha Noodle Bar, Boston, LLC. Um, this one, uh, we have received a request from the Four Point Neighborhood Association, the Office of Neighborhood Services, and the City Council to uh, defer this vote uh, to hold in a budget. Okay, so we will defer the consideration of this until they complete the process. Thank you. Item number 20, Auditorium Cafe, Inc., doing business as the Four House, 909 Boylston Street, will also be deferred for, uh, to allow for the completion of the community process. Okay. Item number 21, BL Restaurant Operations, LLC, doing business as Bar Louie Tavern and Grill, located at 121 Brookline Ave, holder of a common or seven-day alcoholic beverages license, has petitioned to transfer the license from the above to BAM Hospitality, LLC, doing business as Fenway Marriott Residence Inn at the same location. I vote to approve this transfer at the same location. I agree. Item number 22, Finista LLC, doing business as Finista, 96 Peterborough Street, has applied for a common vitular seven-day all alcoholic beverages license to be exercised on the above uh, manager of record fee fam, closing time 12 a.m. I think the applicant adequately established public need for this type of business plan, this type of um, alcohol license. Um, my vote is to approve um, this license, should a license that this applicant qualifies for become available. I agree. I agree as well. Okay, thank you. So that would be a um, approval pending availability of this type of license. Yes, granted pending the availability of a license for which they qualify. Okay, so yes. I'll make that clear for the record. Thank you. Item number 23, AOBH Inc. doing business as Broadway's Pastry, located at 258 West Broadway in South Boston, has applied for a common ditch or seven day wines and malt beverages license to be exercised on the above. Manager, Arian Heisenage, closing time 11 p.m. Uh, the the uh, testimony at yesterday's hearing from the applicant that they, is that they're hoping to um, establish some sort of um, high end or north end style coffee shop and, and allow for um, beer and wine to be paired with, um, with their offerings. Um, I think that the pastries are gonna be made on site. I think the applicant adequately just described public need. They're applying for a neighborhood restricted license. So the, my approval would be to grant this pending availability of a license for uh, which they qualify for. 
I agree. I agree as well. Did I get that right, Danny? Yes, that was exactly right. Granted, okay. yes. Thank you. Item number 24, East Boston BBQ LLC doing business as the Smoke Shop BBQ located at 45 Lewis Street, East Boston, has applied for a common Victor seven day all, alcohol, all, all alcoholic beverages license to be exercised on the above. Manager Amy Magner, closing time 1 a.m. Again, I think this is an application that um, presented a, a new concept for this neighborhood and often a new concept um, for Boston in general with the whiskey program they're offering. Um, they've applied for um, a license. Uh, my, my vote would be to grant it pending the availability of the license for which they qualify for. I agree. I agree. Thank you. And item number 25, Love Child LLC, doing business as Love Child, located at 364 West Broadway, South Boston, has applied for a retail package store, all, all, all alcoholic beverages license to be exercised on the above. Manager Crystal Mills, closing time 7 p.m. Um, we received a request from the Office of Neighborhood Services to defer this vote as well to allow for completion of the community process. Which is gonna be next week, correct? That's correct. Okay, that's fine. I vote for that. All right, now moving on to non-hearing transactions. The following are applying for a new common Victoria license at a previously licensed location. Item number one, ABP Opco LLC, doing business as Aubon Pain in the Bakery Cafe, located at 26 Park Plaza. One room on the first floor with the kitchen in the rear, storage in the basement, 88 seats. Tabas and Mumtaz as manager of record. Hours of operation, Monday to Friday, 6 a.m. to 7 p.m. And Saturday and Sunday, 7 a.m. to 6 p.m. Uh, vote to approve. Maybe. I agree. Item number two, Land of Beer MA, LLC, doing business as Pick and Bite, 700 Atlantic Ave at South Station. Retail store in common area of the ground floor, no seats. Mohammed Sadiq, manager of record, hours of operation, 7 a.m. to 6 p.m. exclusive of holidays. I vote to approve. I agree. I agree as well. Item number three, Land of Fire, Azerbaijan, Inc., doing business as Land of Fire Pizzeria, located at 1696 Commonwealth Avenue in Brighton. First floor, one room, kitchen on first floor, basement for storage, eight seats. Ramzi Gulazad is manager of record, hours of operation, Sunday to Thursday, 11 a.m. to midnight, Friday to Saturday, 11 a.m. to 1 a.m. I vote to approve. I agree. I agree as well. Item number four, Millennial Foods, Inc., doing business as Be Good, located at 360 Longwood Ave, one entrance on Longwood Ave, and one facing the building lobby. Main dining room with small back kitchen area, open kitchen, 45 seats. Josh Ricci as manager of record, hours of operation, 10 a.m. to 9 p.m. I vote to approve. I agree. I agree as well. Item number five, Millennial Foods, Inc., doing business as Be Good, located at 255 Washington Street. Two floors, main floor is front entrance onto Washington Street, back door to alley, upstairs dry storage area, and a small office, 61 seats. Paulo Lucas, manager of record, hours of operation, 10 a.m. to 9 p.m. I vote to approve. Thank you. I agree as well. Item number six, Eight Pizzas LLC, doing business as Eight Pizzas, located at 600 Washington Street in Brighton, first floor, ground level, two rooms, 900 square feet, kitchen on the first floor, no seats. Taskin Dural is manager of record, hours of operation, 10 a.m. to 11 p.m. I vote to approve. I agree. I agree as well. Great. The following have applied to make changes to their existing cowing bachelor licenses. Item number one, Pollo Salabrasa Betos, located at 294 Bennington Street, East Boston has applied to change uh, to Poyos Alabrazos Betos Corporation and also uh, wanted to add Alberto P. Torre Perez as an officer. I vote to approve. Maybe. I agree as well. Item number two, Rosa's Group LLC doing business as La Casa de Pandabono, located at 271 Meridian Street in East Boston, has petitioned to remove uh, officers Berta Rosas and Joan Gross and petitioned to change the shares to Aaron Rosas 51 shares and Manuel Fernando Rosas 49 shares. I vote to approve. I agree. I agree as well. Item number three, TMOG LLC, doing business as TMOG, located at 3 North Beacon Street in Alston, has applied to change the shares on record to Kingdo 50 shares to Huang Nguyen 50 shares in removing Wen Ting Yi. Vote to approve. I agree. I agree as well. The following has applied to make changes to their existing bowling alley license. South Boston Candlepin Inc. doing business as South Boston Candlepins, located at 543 East Broadway in South Boston, has applied to change the manager to John Tunney. I vote to approve. I agree. 
I agree as well. The board has before them a list of special one day alcohol licenses, which have been reviewed administratively by staff and approved by the board. Thank you. And now moving on to old and new business to be voted on by the board. Item number one, the board deferred the following to allow for completion of the community process, which has occurred. This is a transfer from Bitton LLC doing business as cafeteria located at 279A Newbury Street, holder of a common victualler seven day all alcoholic beverages license to transfer the license to Hereford Investment Group LLC at the same location, George Abujad manager, 1 a.m. closing hour. Has also petitioned to amend the description of the license uh, to on two floors, approximately 4,000 square feet, upper level consisting of bar and dining area, capacity 55, and lower level consisting of storage kitchen, bar and dining area, um, private uh, patio, seasonal March, November, closing hour 10 p.m. And uh, there's also a pledge here to Baton LLC. Um, we have received a letter of non-opposition from the Neighborhood Association of the Back Bay and support from the Office of Neighborhood Services. Thanks, I vote to approve this transfer. I agree. I agree as well. Item number two, the board deferred the following to allow for completion of the community process, which has occurred. This is also a transfer from Z Love LLC doing business as Telegraph Hill located at 289 Dorchester Street in South Boston. Holder of a common vigil or seven day all, al all alcoholic beverages license petition to transfer to Telegraph Hill Tavern LLC doing business as Telegraph Hill Kitchen and Bar at the same location. Stephen Whalen manager, 1 a.m. closing hour. Um, additionally, the board has received a support from the community as well as the Office of Neighborhood Services. Okay, for all of those reasons, I vote to support the transfer. I agree. I agree as well. And finally, item number three, the board deferred the following to allow for completion of the community process, which has occurred. This is a transfer of a retail package store, all, all, all alcohol license from the Wine Cave, uh, VJP LLC doing business as the Wine Cave at 71 to 75 Canal Street. Um, to transfer the license and location to JHMP Inc. doing business as V&D Variety Store located at 1895 to 1897 River Street in Hyde Park. The board has received uh, opposition from the community as well as from the Office of Neighborhood Services. Thanks, Danny. Um, uh, this application, as I recall, um, was to add um, to add the all alcohol license to a current um, kind of convenience store. Um, there are two other um, um, package stores, I think within a couple of blocks of each other. And I think this place is right next to uh, um, another establishment that sells beer and wine. Um, listening to all the opposition, um, the community um, believes that this area is adequately served um, by these types of licenses. And um, for those reasons, um, I, I have to vote that um, there's no public need for an additional uh, retail package store at this location. I agree. I agree as well. So would that be a vote to reject with or without prejudice? Um, without prejudice. If, if should they come back with a different business concept that um, does establish public need, that I think the board would be happy to hear from them. I agree. Great, thank you, Project Without Presidents. Thank you very much. Those are all of the items before the board today. Thank, thank you. you. Thanks everybody. Long.